Okay, here we are. We're just trying something out. I couldn't get anyone to ride with me this afternoon or go live, so I thought oh, I'll do a live myself. So here we are up at the Kings Beach, coming up the Kings Beach gold um, section of the coastal pathway. And um, I hope you're getting this. not that hard a day so what are you doing on a Friday afternoon right now um, so I know some of you are probably getting ready for a big weekend um, we've got I hope the sounds coming through all right I've got something I put a uh, what do you call it a fly on the mic to try and That. I'll just adjust that camera around a bit. Wonder who's on there? Maggie Watson. So after um, Ian Birch's absolutely outstanding effort last night with the uh, very introducing the very clever idea of the swig financial education portal um, and you can see that on my feed further down through the Facebook feed have a look at it it's 43 minutes of absolutely gorgeous um, absolutely information packed and say so the view here is just stunning at the moment let's see if I can get around there put a bit more I got no assist on my bike so I'm having to work ah oh, there I go now I don't have to work I can just talk um, yes, think about your future self. What do you want to be doing in five years? Do you want to be sitting there right now and doing exactly the same thing you're doing in five years time? Because if you can find $20 a week, $20 a week to put in, pay off a EIP package, then you will be gifted some pipes. Simple as that. Um, you'll get a very, very, very good course, um, as good as you'll get in any Australian vet training system for the basics of capitalisation. And you'll be able to start your portfolio. Hello, we're just hitting the uh, coastal waterway. Look at this. Look at these. Now come on down. Look at these boardwalks, which are just here for us to ride along. Just magical stuff. Um, just get these pedestrians, give them a ding. How are you going? Good, how are you? Good. Along here, look at that. Hey, you wouldn't be dead for quids on a day like today. I hope the sound's coming across all right. Um, yes, so get yourself a swig portal. Uh, do your due diligence. Register up for free. There's heaps of links. Just talk to anyone um, who's swig if you can't find anyone of course you can pop me a uh, a PM and I'll send you a link for your complimentary free site and you can sign up and then you can come to Sunshine Coast and if you're in my group I'll give you a free day on the bikes how's that if you're in my team if you're in the first step team making a difference the other day, uh, Thursday, I went along and did a Pechacucha talk, which is basically uh, 20 slides, 20 seconds each, so 20 slides in 6 minutes and 40 seconds. That's unlike me, I usually ramble on as per my Facebook feeds. Um, so that was an interesting, that we've posted a video, a friend of ours, Liz, thank you Liz for recording that for us. Let's see if we can get the gimbal to go around again. Come on, Gimbal, down here. People can't see the sky, don't want to see the sky. We'll just ding, come around this person. Thank you very much. Come around the beach here. The good thing about these e-bikes is, is these pathways, coastal pathways, go in places you don't get to see. So you can come along here and you can just basically 
enjoy the ride and because you're not actually working, motor's doing all the work at the moment for me, I can just enjoy the absolutely stunning view. Let's see if we can't get that to go around. No, the other way. The light's going up when I go around. I don't know what it is. It must be the way I'm holding my hand. Anyway, we're just coming past King's Beach now. You see why they call it King's Beach? TV crew's out, taking some pictures. Wonder who that is. Okay, oh, that's Wind TV. Wind TV are out filming something. Which is good. There you go. King's Beach. So yes, think about your future self. Where do you want to be in five years time? Where do you want to be in 10 years time? Okay. Do you want to be doing what you're doing right now? Well, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind be doing this in 10 years time. And I wouldn't mind be doing it on different beaches all around the world. And traveling with my friends, because that's what we've been doing with Swig. We went to Malaysia with a great group of people. Uh, we're going to head off to India in October, and anyone listening to this, and I mean it, anyone listening to this feed, watching me ride my bike, <laughs> and stuff up the gimbal, see if we can get it back, go back around here, yeah, there you go, can be in that, I'm, I can see some comments coming up, unfortunately, I can't respond to them, um, Mainly because I got my Polaroids sunnies on over the top of my glasses, and whilst I can see a white patch on the screen, I certainly cannot see the text um, because of the polarization. So we'll just go around here. Look at this beautiful sculptor sculpture. This is for somewhere for the kids to play. And we don't want to look that way, Gimbal. We don't want to look up there either. Trials and tribulations of learning new technologies. There, yeah, that's better. So we're coming up in the headland now. Hi. How you going? Thank you. Um, so yeah, we're actually looking for people on the Sunshine Coast who'd like to uh, get to ride an e-bike for the day um, and be part of our marketing photo shoots. So if you're watching on the Sunshine Coast and you're a couple or a family, um, we'd love to hear from you. And we'll try and get you on an e-bike one day where it suits you. And uh, as a reward for helping us out, we're gonna give you another voucher for a full e day's e-bike hire um, on the day of your choice. G'day, thank you. Thank you. We're taking it pretty slow at the moment. The gimbal's come around again. It's found something it wants to follow. 
We'll go back out to sea. Let's go down here. Good thing about the e-bikes is you can go down these hills nice and slowly. It really doesn't matter. So we've got a bit of a boat ramp here. Oh, it's coming around right around to me. I can put this on two assists and first gear. <laughs> and we can head up the hill. I haven't got up the seat yet. I am working, but the motor's doing 90% of the work, which is good, and we're up the hill. Today. Now, let's see if we can get this gimbal back around. Just stop for a minute. Just keep going. So this coastal pathway, just for those who are watching, the one I'm on, goes all the way from Bells Creek up to Tawanton. Now our bikes will do 50 k's a day on a charge, okay? And that whole bike path is just on 196 k's long. So you would need to charge the bikes up to do the whole path or organize us to drop a second battery off halfway up if you wanted to do the whole 50, 196 k's in a day. Alternative, if you're fit, and you do 50% of the pedaling, then you can do the path on the one charge. How's that? Most likely, if someone told us we want, they wanted to do the whole bike path, we'd give them the second battery already charged up, so when they got it down, they could just swap it over. Because the bikes come with all the panniers. Panniers are bike baskets, I found out. Do you want to know what they are? I found them out when, that's what they call them. Those baskets on bikes. Let's flip it up a gear. I might take the assist down one. The advantage of getting on the e-bike, of course, is uh, you get to see a lot more of the coast. A lot more of the coast than you'd see in a car because the bike path goes in around the beaches and the headlands. Um, and because of the electric motor, you're not doing a lot of focusing on pedaling. And the hill, you know that you're just gonna cruise along at the same speed so you can be comfortable and look at the sights as you go. And then you can just stop and have a swim. Our last customers, I just picked this bike up from a customer like at one o'clock. And uh, they're a little bit shy. I was going to try and get them on the live, but they're a little bit sh camera shy, and that's fair enough. Um, we don't force people to do anything they don't want to do, and that's the philosophy with Swig as well. We don't force anyone to do anything. We just give them the option and the education and let them make up their own mind. Look at this. Hey. Hey, is that good? Ah, I don't know. I feel sorry for everybody in Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne right now sitting at a desk. And I really, really wonder why I sat at a desk for so long. Um, life's too short just to be staring at a computer screen all the time. And you're probably watching this on a computer screen. <laughs> but uh, the other thing about e-bikes is you're out in the air, so you're not... I'm not hot. It's a hot day. It's about probably about 70% humidity at the moment. There is a sea breeze, which is good. But because you're not working hard on the e-bikes um, and you're getting a breeze all the time, you stay quite cool. It's actually cooler on the e-bike than sitting on a park bench right now. So 
So those who want to stay with me, I'm going to keep going all the way up to Lake Karamundi. Uh, just checking it out. Yeah, so you'll see parts of the Sunshine Coast which you'll never see on the car and you won't have time to walk unless you take the, you know, a four week walk up and down the coast. But you can certainly cover a lot of ground in the day or a couple of days on the e-bikes. Our best priced rate is for a week, but we've also given a really good price for those who want a long weekend. You can get three days on the bike and we've given a great discount. So you basically come up here, fly up or drive up um, from Brisbane or fly up from Melbourne, Sydney or Adelaide. We'll drop an e-bike off at your resort and then basically you've got a 50k radius to explore around your resort for the three days you're on the Sunshine Coast. So that is um, a magical period. We're just going to duck out here on the road so I'm going to have to follow some road rules. walkway of course for, um, earlier in the week we had um, Michael and Tara gr lovely family f up from Brisbane um, they had the kitty trailers in the tag along so they were able to put their boy in, on the tag along and the youngest one in, in the little trailer and explore the Caloundra region on that. So, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. And because we're, our e-bikes, they're all charged up with solar energy. Um, we have a huge solar system on our car, on our house, and we plug in and we export um, way more power than we use and that. So all the e-bikes come with a lock, so if you want to just stop off and have a swim at one of these beaches, um, you just lock your e-bike up um, and go for a swim. We do have fat bikes, you can go and get a uh, fat bike up at um, Noosa and do a beach tour from Noosa with Darren. Um, go to our site and click on Noosa Tours. I'm just going to stop here. Yes, Ryan, they are amazing. Yes, so this, and uh, we're working right now um, with Tourism Sunshine Coast. Uh, to put through our permits so we can get some beach tours happening down here in the southern part of the coast. Um, I'll tell you what a nice one might be is to uh, organise maybe one along the northern part of Bribey Island, uh, organise a little barge across with the beat, uh, fat bikes and go for a ride along there. I think that would be something special. So we'll see what we can do about that whether we're allowed to do that. That's the National Park, so we'll have to go to the National Parks and get a permit for that one. Um, I was just talking to Femke, the manager of the booking box this morning in Malulaba and uh, we've organised a e-bike tour of, guided tour of Point Cartwright. So we'll look at the um, lower reaches of the Malula River, um, right around there and up to Point Cartwright and have a look at um, 
the sights and the history of that area. If it's whale watching season, we might even see some whales. And then um, we come back to the wharf and you have a sunset cruise with our um, a sunset cruise with the Booking Box Cruise, Malulabar Cruises. So a ride around the headland and the national park, or the park out there, and uh, we will go back to the wharf where you'll board a boat and go out for a sunset cruise with your significant other. So how romantic is that? Okay. Hello. We've got a phone call coming in. We might pause this for a minute. 